back. For this lesson, we're going to expand on what we talked about the last lesson, <clears throat> where we were changing the intervals with those inside mallets. Now we're going to change the intervals by moving the outside mallet. <clears throat> it's important that you think of and you remember this outside mallet is a natural extension of your forearm. So you need to think, if I want to play a G with my outside mallet, my hand needs to be near the G. If I want to play a D, the hand needs to be near the D. So <clears throat> what I always talk about is making sure you have a, a nice space from your body to your forearm, the relationship there, because it's going to close up as we close the intervals. So I'm on a G here, right? My arm's going to move down F, E, D, back out to the G. Now, in order to keep the inside mallet in place, I'm going to do the similar move, that index finger shuffle we talked about last lesson, to shorten up the intervals. So here, forearm comes down, bend the index finger, fourth, third, second, third, fourth, fifth. So on the bottom of page 17 in the Simply Four book, we have some exercises there that develop strictly the outside mallets moving. So we have these two things going on at once. Index finger movement, forearm movement. You want to make sure you get the left hand caught up also into the body with that forearm while the index finger is, is bending. Okay? So we almost covered our whole double stop stroke concept. So for the next lesson, we're going to combine these two. You're going to get very comfortable with the inside motion, the outside interval change. The wrist has not changed. Always go through, double check your, your checklist for within your hand. And I'll see it next lesson where we're going to actually give you a nice exercise you're going to be able to work on for a while.